Alright fellas, welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video, and this one, this one's a little bit of a goofy one. <laughs> I don't want to say goofy one, but a little bit just a, a fun build, right? It's workable, um, it's literally only snipers and shotguns, or Jacob's, it's literally Jacob snipers and Jacob uh, shotguns throughout the build, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to make this really fast, right? So obviously, we're going to start with the loadout first, instead of the actual skill tree. Bang, you want to use a, we're going to have a one pump chump, our Garcia. Uh, unseen threat and a stagecoach. Notice that our, our our single pellet weapons, such as the unseen threat and the one pump chump, they have the 300% anointment. And our Garcia and our stagecoach, our multi pellet weapons, they have consecutives. These, um, this obviously the consecutives is better on these type of weapons like the stagecoach and the Garcia, uh, just so we can constantly uh, you know proc fade away and get into fade away quicker. Um, the one shotter shield, honestly, the one shotter shield is only recommended if you are trying to you know. Like, but like trying to like one shot some bosses, because uh, like this build does uh, have a lot of help with the overkill perk in the guardian system. Uh, so basically, like what you would do is you would use the one shot or shield, and you would do you know initial six mil. Then you would do an initial, you would you know proc your pearl, which we are using, uh, with like you know your mitosis hunter seekers, fully proc it up. Um, you know one shot an enemy, and then overkill that next shot into another enemy, and then. You can overkill that next shot into another enemy, but keep in mind you have to be pretty accurate with uh, these Jacob's weapons, especially these the one bump chop man. You you gotta be real accurate if you want to make that properly work. But it does, it is there, and that is a way we are able to output you know millions of damage. Uh, for instance, on the uh, Kraken boss fight and the raid, um, I was able to actually one shot the Kraken uh, with the one pump chump uh, last night while I was testing this build out. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on uh, on screen. Uh, but you already lose some nasty, nasty stuff with this type of build. Uh, honestly, if you don't have a one shot or shield, the, the best shield I would recommend for you is a stopgap with the on active skill start anointment. And if you don't have that, um, just a stopgap in general with good rolls on it will help you. An ASC stopgap with uh, radiation or cryo, corrosive, that'll uh, also be really helpful. Um, our two class mods is going to be either a cosmic stalker or a stack bot uh, this is a cosmic stalker that i use for uh, literally all the time whenever i'm mobbing running through the raid um i was even use this uh, cosmic stalker against wotan completely putting out lots of damage um and then our stack bot that i would use well uh, not that one uh, it's gonna be this one it doesn't have the shotgun roll on it or sniper roll on it but it does have the weapon damage and jacob's crit uh, which is the most important um then here's our tree guys three out of three persistence hunter our stalker tree uh quick look at it bye marley have a good day buddy uh, two out of five self repairing system, one in the eager and press, two out of three all BFFs, max out fierce attack, overclock, max out turn tail and run, licking the wounds, fast and furious, three out of five in rage on cover, and obviously we do want the power inside. Then we are gonna go ahead, whoops, 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 huh, my bad. Uh, we're gonna go with the until you are dead and not my circus for a little bit of sustainability whenever we do come out of fadeaway. Uh, obviously with the Garcia and Stagecoach, you'll be able to go in and out of fadeaway very, very uh, consistently. Part of the reason why we brought both of them, and that's also another reason why we do have them uh, every other one. 
So we'll have the stagecoach is going to be paired up with a one pump and the Garcia is going to pair up with the unseen threat because you would obviously, you know, you'd proc your fade away, go inside a fade away, switch off the Garcia to the unseen threat. Uh, and then, you know, if you're on the stagecoach, you would do that and go to the one pump jump. That's 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 the idea behind it, the premise behind it, what we're going for with this. Uh, and then uh, let me go ahead and go over our hunter tree. So since we're only having two to like two weapons that are only a uh, single projectile, I figure two fang would not be that useful here. Uh, and we can do stuff uh, with those skill points. We can uh, obviously max out interplanetary stalker at all times. Max out hunter's eye. This go around. Um, head count. Yes. Even though it's not bugged, you know, it's still bugged right now. It's still good. And it'll be even better when they do fix it. Leave no trace to do that. Uh, we can put some of those skill points from Two Fang in a second intentions for our reload speed because obviously with Jaco's weapons you do reload a lot. <laughs> um, and then big game uh, and most interesting you always want to max that out. Grim Harvest, no. Uh, Galactic Shadow and definitely Mega War. Uh, modifiers, so, uh, so I don't forget. Uh, most important ones in my opinion are Speed Demon and Holy Crit. And yeah guys, that's going to just about run over everything. One quick look at the tree here. Um, yeah, dude, I mean, look, uh, this build, I mean, it's Flak, right? So Flak right now in Mayhem 10 is a little bit, like, like real, he's real squishy, um, real fragile. Uh, but with this build and uh, going, being able to go in and out at Fade Away, especially with uh, this type of stopgap right here, um, you'll be able to stay alive pretty consistently. And yeah, it's a fun build. You're able to put out a lot of damage. Uh, and the build does take a little bit of skill, a little bit of time to, I don't want to say a little bit of time. It's not, it's just takes, it's a bit, just a little learning curve, uh, you know. Uh, and like you know aiming your shots because don't get me wrong dude this sway on the one pump is kind of annoying when trying to uh send that that slug around in somebody but uh, overall i thought i like this build it's really fun it's a jacob shotgun the sniper only build and another thing about this build is that there is no mayhem 10 or mayhem 6 exclusive legendaries in it which i've had a lot of people like been complaining about in the community just not not just on my videos but a lot of other uh, borderlands youtubers videos uh just saying that you know, you, in order to get a Mayhem 10 build, you need Mayhem 6 legendaries, like the uh, Yellow Cake, OPQ, KO Sin, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. All, you know, Plague Bear, Backburner, guns like that. Luckily, this build doesn't require any of that, so all you need, the hardest weapon I'd say is probably getting um, a really good stagecoach, because uh, these three, um, this this is dedicated, these two are dedicated drops, and Unseen Threat is also really good. Uh, and yet the DLC 2 for the Unseen Threat, which... It's unfortunate if you don't have a, a DLC 2, but if you don't have DLC 2, uh, the Stagecoach, uh, One Pump Chump, and the Garcia could work. You can just throw in whatever else you want with that. Anyways, though, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and drop the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, y'all.